UCL Pathology Museum houses a collection of about 8,000 specimens of pathology, which is the study of disease. These specimens make up a museum which we use for teaching both medical students and also non-medical students. Today we're really excited to have on loan with us some specimens from the National Army Museum. These specimens are the hand and toes of Major Bronco Lane, who cemented his reputation as a famous mountaineer by being a member of the first successful military expedition to summit Mount Everest. The specimens are here with us today so that Amelia Kingham, who is our wet specimen conservator, can remount them so that they can go on display when the National Army Museum reopens. So right now um, I'm actually rinsing his toes to get any of the, the glycerin potting fluid off so they're not too slippery when I'm actually handling them and, and conserving them. As you can see, there's little bits of tissue that are coming away from the actual toes themselves. And what I'll be doing uh, as part of the conservation process is to consolidate the tissue uh, so that there aren't any other little bits that will come off in the, inside the pot. He and his colleague, Sergeant Rummy Stokes, did this in 1976. Despite the success of summiting the mountain, Unfortunately, on the way down, they met with bad weather and they were forced to spend the night in a snow hole. While they were there, Sergeant Stokes struggled to attach an oxygen bottle to his face mask. And in order to help his friend, Bronco Lane was forced to remove his glove and he knew that in doing this, he was risking severe frostbite to his fingers. And unfortunately, that's exactly what happened. In addition to Bronco Lane losing the fingers of his right hand, both Lane and Stokes lost all of the toes on both of their feet to frostbite. What I find really inspiring about this story is that despite these severe losses, Bronco Lane went on to have a successful mountaineering career and he ran expeditions in the Canadian Rockies and on Mount Kenya. 